compliments to come forward. Come on up, man. Oh, for those who don't know, these folks have been with me every Wednesday night all year long. We uh, expanded our confirmation program. And say, actually, let's put you up on the step. Pretty much on display. <laughs> They've been coming every Wednesday night. They've been dealing with me, talking at them for an hour a night a week. Um, an, an hour a week. And so they have, they're my rock stars. They've been awesome. Thank you so much for making it through. Everybody's got their papers, so we're good. All right. Brothers and sisters in Christ, through the sacrament of baptism, we are initiated to Christ's holy church. We are incorporated into God's mighty acts of salvation and given new birth through water and the spirit. All this is God's gift offered to us without Christ. Through confirmation and through the reaffirmation of our faith, we renew the covenant declared at our baptism, acknowledge what God is doing for us, and affirm our commitment to Christ's holy church. And I present these candidates for confirmation. Lindsay, Madison, Ashley, Haley, and Tyler. And so now I'm going to ask them some questions. Do you renounce the spiritual forces of wickedness, reject the evil powers of this world, and repent of your sin? Do you accept the freedom and power that God gives you to resist evil, injustice, and oppression in whatever forms they present themselves? Do you confess Jesus Christ as your Savior, put your whole trust in His grace, and promise to serve Him as your Lord in union with the Church, which Christ has opened to people of all ages, nations, and races? And according to the grace given to you, will you remain faithful members of Christ's holy church and serve as Christ's representative in the world? Now I'm talking to you. Do you, as Christ's body, the church, reaffirm both your rejection of sin and your commitment to Christ? Yeah. Will you nurture one another in the Christian faith and life and include these people <coughs> now before you in your care? With God's help. We will proclaim the good news and live according to the example of Christ. We will surround these persons with a community of love and forgiveness, that they may grow in their trust of God and be found faithful in their service to others. We will pray for them, that they may be true disciples who walk in the way that leads to life. This might be one of my favorite points. Let us join together in professing the Christian faith as contained in the scriptures of the Old and New Testament. So I ask you, do you believe in God the Father? I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. Do you believe in Jesus Christ? I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who is conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven, is seated at the right hand of the Father, and will come again to judge the living and the dead. And do you believe in the Holy Spirit? I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, Pour out 
adoption of the Holy Spirit to bless this gift of water to those who receive it to wash away their sin and clothe them in righteousness throughout their lives, that dying and being raised with Christ, they may share in his final victory. All praise to you, eternal Father, through your Son, Jesus Christ, who will be you and the Holy Spirit, lives and reigns forever. Amen.
you have now joined Christ Universal Church. And now we're talking about the Methodist Church. As members of Christ Universal Church, will you be loyal to the United Methodist Church and do all in your power to strengthen its ministries? As members, talking to you. No, you, you're members now. As members of this congregation, will you faithfully participate in its ministries by your prayers, presence, gifts, and service, and your witness? Members of the household of God, I commend these people to your love and care. Do all in your power to increase their faith, confirm their hope, and perfect them in love. We give thanks for all that God has already given you, and we welcome you in Christian love as members together with you in the body of Christ. And in this congregation of the United Methodist Church, we renew our covenant, renew our covenant faithfully to participate in the ministries of the church by our prayers, our presence, our gifts, and our service. That in everything, God may be glorified through Jesus Christ, the God of all grace, who has called us to eternal glory in Christ, establish you and strengthen you by the power of the Holy Spirit, that you may live in grace and peace. Let's give one more round of applause.